most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i am back with another video i am back with a requested video from some of you all now you know i got to love y'all for this because i am making my homemade dressing that y'all requested for me to make before thanksgiving meaning i have to make it twice so i'm going to be making my homemade dressing for you all um you all wanted the recipe uh i could have been like come back through the other video the video that i had made uh what i cooked for uh queen and clarence that video where i had made my um dressing and um i could have said go back through there but i didn't because uh i did make several dishes that day you know as y'all can see uh and uh, with this particular video i'm just going to be focused on the um dressing itself so that, um, and it's not turkey and dressing, I'm doing chicken and dressing, but the main part of that ingredient is the dressing. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm about to show y'all something in my prior videos. Um, y'all will see, you know, a couple of videos I did with me and my brother, and we always, we was talking about the, how I am a, a great value person. And I did not realize this until he brought it out because everything I do and everything I buy is great value, y'all. I start out by chopping my onion and my celery. And I have my onion recipe soup. Could be Lipton's, but I chose great value. And um, I mix, after I chop up my onion and my celery, I, I put it in a pot along with the two packs of Lipton, I mean not Lipton, but onion soup and my chicken broth, okay? That's my base, um, my, my stock. Also from the chicken itself, when it's fully baked. Now my chicken is Tyson, boo, okay, all right. Um, but when it's fully baked, um, I have the juice and stock from that, and that makes up my, um, my stock, like I said. Over here, I didn't do great value for this for my cornmeal. Y'all, they did not have buttermilk Aunt Jemima self-rising cornbread meal mix. So what I did was just went and bought the Aunt Jemima self-rising white cornmeal mix, but I'm going to add the buttermilk. Country crust. Okay. All right. And so after I made my cornmeal, my cornbread up and the full thing of cornbread, then sometimes I go in and I add supposed to be stovetop stuffing, but of course I use great value chicken flavored stuffing mix. I only had two chicken, so I grabbed the turkey. And I use that to make up for the bread that makes my pan, my cornbread. As I, that, all that's finished, that crumbles up inside of that stock, y'all, with that chicken. So basically, that's how it is. And then I add my, of course, my, um, I add, always add two cans of cream of celery. And I add two cans of cream and uh, chicken. Okay, that is, with, along with the sage and other seasons that I do use, this makes up my dressing. And you will see as I'm finished and as I go along, this is going to be a, a great pan of great value homemade dressing. And um, I get a lot of compliments on my dressing, y'all. I'm known. They love me for my dressing. My recipe came from my um, mother and my auntie, my favorite aunt, my aunt Dee Dee. She taught me how to make the dressing. Uh, this took years. I think it started back in 2000 when I just had to have her recipe. And she did a couple changes to it over the years and she told me about it, but I won't touch it. Nope, like, nope, I'm keeping the first way that you gave me. Um, I think she added three eggs to it. That's the only thing that changes that she made to it, y'all. But I'm not adding no three eggs because um, I just don't want to mess with it, you know? And also I don't like stiff uh, dressing. So y'all gonna see how I do it and how I turn and how it turns out. So like I said, wait around. I chopped up my celery and I'm doing my onions because I'm fitting to create the stock. This is the way I chop onions. This is the way I do it. I dice them first. Sometimes all of them don't come off diced. But I think this is just enough because I don't want to overdo it. I already got, you know. 
gonna be seasoned. It's gonna have its flavor. I guess I could go ahead and put some garlic cloves in it, but I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna chop up my onions like so. Let's make sure they're diced, just like I said for my stock, because I'm, this is going to go in a pot and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so as I slightly wash this off, I'm adding the onion soup mix to that. Um, add one packet. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and add two. I usually don't need one. Yo, I'm sorry, this is the way I am. I like to use everything that I have. So I'm putting two of these in here because it's just gonna make a great flavor, especially when I add the chicken stock to it. Right now I'm adding the broth and it's going to be accompanied with great value. Yeah, that's great value broth. Watch it, buddy. It's going to be accompanied with two cups of water and placed on the stove to boil. I'm going to let y'all know as I'm placing it on the stove here, this is my two cups of water. I ain't measured nothing, but to me it's two cups. There it is. That's how much I want. There's my two cups of water. And as that's doing that, that is going to come to a boil. As I turn it on low here, putting it on the low, y'all. Y'all want to always have this stock over here boiling away. You want just what I mixed up in it, and you want to always have it boiling away, y'all. So when you're stocked for your chicken, it's where that chicken is in that roaster. I got my electric roaster here, and that chicken is cooking away. So that's going to create me a stock. And some of that stock is going to go over in here. By the time the stock goes over in here, you all, the chicken itself will be done. So that way, the next prep is the cornbread. Making the cornbread up. I don't have to put any seasoning in that at all. Okay, love bug. So as y'all see, uh, I'm doing this in steps. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make the cornbread. Uh, as you can see, I put the chicken on first. Then I put my stock on first. Y'all see how I made everything up. Now the next step I always do, I go over into making my cornbread. And so this is what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm making the cornmeal and it calls for one egg, which I'm adding to. It causes for uh, one to, that's optional. Uh, it calls for three tablespoons of vegetable shortening, which I'm adding six. It calls for two cups of Aunt Jemima, so I'm adding four. It calls for uh, one and a half cup of buttermilk, but I'm adding three, okay? Because I'm doubling this batter because I don't want to make cornbread over and over. So if I make a big enough pan, it's gonna um, set that down in there. So I'm doing it, y'all. I'm doing how I do it now. Okay. So, like I said, this adds cost for two uh, cups. So I'm going to add four, four cups instead. Okay. Got it in my cup. Okay. So. And one day I'm going to have this down packed where I ain't even got to measure this. Because I got to the point, y'all, I don't be measuring stuff because I done made it so much. But I'm doing this for y'all, okay? Really. Okay, so this is the fourth cup. And like I said, it called for uh, one egg. I'm adding two. Double it, y'all. Double it. Oh, look at that. That's all right. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, boo. Okay. And so it called for one and a half cup of buttermilk. Now I'm using buttermilk only because this is not Aunt Jemima, like I said, cornmeal. This is a uh, regular white. So I told y'all that. So this calls for one, two, three. Y'all, if I have a hard time remembering this, it's only on the back of the cornbread. Uh, bag and also um like i said double it you know what i'm saying this is basically doing the math on it i'm going inside with six tablespoons i'm doubling it one two three 
four, five, six of vegetable oil. I added my milk. My sugar was optional, which I'm not gonna add. And now, I'm just gonna stir it as so. Until the batter itself smooths out real nice. I already have the pan that I'm using. I like to use my Roth iron skillet, big old skillet. I already have it pre-greased where this is gonna go in the oven when it's finished. As I'm adding this uh, batter to the skillet, I'm going to say, pay attention, queen bean. Yes, I'm calling you out. Queen bean. Last time she made a video, she made, well, I don't think it was a video. She put it on her uh, Instagram, I think it was. Instagram, no, it might have been YouTube. I wasn't paying attention to uh, what media it came from. But she made a good meal that looked real tasty and it almost looked it like mine until it came to the uh, dressing. She said, I made stuff and she had not yet mastered, she said, my uh, dressing. So also, I'm doing this for Queen Bean. I know I could call her Patella, but I just, I know she gonna watch this video. Um, careful of the steps, you all, I did. Careful of the steps, that's how I should look. Y'all, believe me, if this is not enough for me, um, I do have other breads that I'm going to add, y'all, and I will show you. I am um, going ahead, my cornbread is finished, and uh, for my, mix my cornbread up, I'm going to put my celery and cream of chicken, cream of celery. I mixed it in this pot. Y'all, I do can tell the difference. Now, great value food is good, okay? But I do can tell the difference from this and Campbell's soup, uh, the Campbell kind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place this on the stove and warm this up um, so this could be, you know, popping a little bit, you know. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put this on low. I'll let that be. Okay, so my broth right here, y'all see, and my chicken is looking good. I just stabbed it all up and went inside of there, y'all, because I want to make sure that my chicken, when I place it in my dressing, the carrot meter, that it's doing just like this. God. Falling off the bone. That's what I want it to do. I know, that's how I know that my meat is done, and I don't like to put skin inside of my uh, dressing. Okay? I might eat that little leg. <laughs> okay. And also, you all, this is the cornbread. Over here, I'm gonna take a little bit of that base here, only a little bit anyways, and I'm gonna add it to this pot over here. Also, I wanted you to know that I I forgot that I bought this. It's broth base and seasoning. It's uh it's like a you mix it with two cups of water, it says on the top, uh two teaspoons of broth base and one cup of broth. So when you out of if this don't be enough, I can always you know, add a little chicken base broth to it or whatever. And this is my cornbread over here. And I'm gonna do this the easy way, y'all. The way I do it, I got y'all on way. Mama got hers. All right, I'm gonna lift this. Ah. I'll let that cool down so my hands are clean. I always like to take my cornbread. Oh, it's a little hot in the middle still. Ha, 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 ha. And that was my. Now I'm glad I doubled this cornbread, y'all, because the simple fact that doesn't seem like much, does it? Doesn't seem like much breading. Right. I ain't got time to be sitting up here making all that cornbread, y'all. But this is what I'm saying. This is a nice size pan of dressing. Okay. And as I'm squeezing it up, it's a little hot still. Um, this is my reason for making. Uh, cornbread first like I said I doubled the cornbread uh, I do want to get that flat as possible I will go back in with my hands after it cools down some but this is my reason for always getting extra stove top so I don't do that also it's breading and it's seasoned already with the chicken flavor in it that makes up just the amount 
just enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, I usually do it like that. This is a nice size pan of it. Uh, strong. Huh? That's strong. This what? That's strong. Strong? That's yeah, that's that, that chicken. Yeah, that, that flavoring. Okay, that should be cooled down some. And I like to go back in and get my uh, breadcrumbs just as thin as I can. And while that's doing that, Tina, hand me a spoon, a big spoon in that drawer behind you. And I'm adding this broth. This is the reason why I made this as is. It's got everything in it. I'm throwing the whole thing in because that's why I did it. That's why I did it. Making sure I know that uh, it's got a nice consistent I don't like I said before in the last time I made this I don't play that dry dressing um so I want to get every bread crumb wet okay now your cornbread and your bread y'all know it's always gonna suck up the broth okay that's the reason why I'm glad that I have the chicken base uh the, the chicken stock uh from the the chicken that I'm going to also pour in here. And also I showed you the chicken base that I had bought. Uh, two teaspoons and a cup of water you can always add. You know, that's just like a quick chicken broth. That's what it is. Okay, and I'm adding to that. See all of this in here? This chicken base and that pieces of chicken, they're going right over in here. Of course y'all know I'm not gonna leave that chicken in there. I'm coming back for that. <laughs> Okay, this is the part where the chicken goes inside of the dressing. Getting all bones and gristle and skin out. Chicken looks so good, oh my God. Lord Jesus. Skin on out, oh I love that crispy part. Mm -mm, I'm sorry y'all. Mm, mm. yeah. Oh, it's seasoned good. Mm. Pasting up. See? I like for it to fall off the bone. <laughs> so that gristle and that bone gonna be in my dressing. Now, how many of y'all love the gristle? Because the sister love the gristle, okay? Where do you eat that? The gristle is good. You're not supposed to eat it. There you are. Come on, you for real? Yeah, you can eat the top part of the gristle. I like to make sure it's all falling off the bone. I want to make sure it's done. You want to want these wings, son? Get a wing if you want. I'm gonna take the skin off of here. There's bone in there. I'm taking that on out. There's the wing that's coming out. If you want that, you can have that. Yeah, I love making dressing. It's so fun. Especially when you know what you're doing. Okay, so showing you all that this is the meat all from the chicken. See why I like it falling off the bone? Look at that. You ain't hardly got no meat. Just left in there. It's all that. That's that's that should be left over. All none of that should none of this mess should be inside your dressing. Period. He's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. None of that should be inside your dressing. None of this. See all that? All of this. This should not be in your dressing. Period. This should be in your dressing. That's pure chicken. Fell off the bone. You know it's done. All right. So, by me thinking and knowing that this chicken base wasn't going to be enough, I started me another uh, stock over here. It's gonna work just fine, you guys. Believe you me. <laughs> I know. Hold on, I see something. Look at that. See there? Not playing it. No. Not in my chicken. Not today. And you got, like you got veins, you come over here. And you got veins too, you get up over here too. Get about my pan. Okay. Oh my God, we can't have none tonight. What a okay. oh, You don't need nothing to muddy eat. <laughs> I know you all, it looks dry right now, but wait till I get done with it, because it's not finished. 
Put my chicken all up in there like I want it. Hold up. I hope y'all paid attention to each step. Each step that I do first is important because it just all prepares it and it's ready for you. Okay? This is all going in the oven anyways. I barely ate these. I had something. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> All right, here's my chicken base that I showed y'all earlier that I had made. There it is. I can't stand no dry dressing. I'm not gonna have it. I'm gonna set some more to the side because I got more. I'm gonna grab this butter in my hand and I'm gonna pour this here. This is all the cream of celery and the cream of chicken that I'm mixing in here. That's why I wanted that on the on the uh, stove being ready because. Um, <clears throat> This also adds moisture and everything else with your chicken mix. That's what makes it, see that? See that bread coming to life? Moisture. Oh, like I said, it's filling and looking right to me. I ain't even finished mixing it up yet. You know how y'all, y'all know just about how y'all want y'all dressing to turn out. Um, you want it moist looking. You don't want it dry and stiff like I just had it before I added more chicken broth base to it and before I added the cream of chicken soup to it. You don't want it like that. You want it like this because I'm going to put all them pretty little seasonings in it like sage, poetry seasoning, seasoning salt, garlic salt, onion powder, and black pepper. Those are all the seasonings that I'm putting in. Y'all pay attention. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. And the last of that chicken base that's over there because bread does dry up. Okay? So y'all think McCormick is all that because it's McCormick. It's not great value. But I bought McCormick tonight and guess what McCormick don't have? Had a little net top over it. Look at this. Miss, Mr. McCormick. Here I go with the, the sage. I like to go real good on the top with all my seasonings. Real good, one time. One time for the mind. On the top. Okay. I'm adding my um, seasoning salt. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what I forgot, y'all? Forgot my poultry seasoning. Wonder if there's some up there. I got my onion powder. What's up? Uh, I got my black pepper. <laughs> so now that I got all my seasonings, like I said, I like to mix one good time. Cause that's gonna be it. I'm not the type to keep going through some, some uh, dressing. Keep seasoning it all the way through so I get the taste. I know how I want it to taste. I know just how much to put. And some of y'all, uh, first time dressing makers, y'all might have to play around with the season a little bit, but by me making this for years, um, I pretty much know the look of it by uh, the make, making of it. Yeah, it. Um, it looks so good, y'all. Um, yeah. Put it on top of the thing. Yeah. I promise y'all this ain't no front. They're gonna let you know how it turn out. I'm gonna let you know how it turn out. I hope that y'all got all the steps. Queen, please have paid attention. Because you always say, I haven't yet mastered my mother's dressing yet. You've seen your mama make this dressing for years, okay? You have seen it on here with the rest of them, making it step by step, okay? Yes, come through, baby. Come through, baby. Come through, baby. Woo! <laughs> yes, honey. And as you get done, your kitchen should appear as it never happened, okay? I just wanna show y'all something right quick. While I was preparing that, I just came in first and threw this on. It's some uh, green beans and white potatoes, baby. That's gonna be cooking uh, for a minute. And I got a big fat uh, smoke 
neck bone at the bottom of that. Some potatoes, some green beans and white potatoes. I'm gonna let y'all know. <clears throat> um, I did not uh, make no mac and cheese because this is just supposed to be the uh, recipe for the uh, you know the dressing that was requested. And also, I don't want to make my whole Thanksgiving dinner, you know, because I'm not gonna feel like it when it comes, you know. Thanksgiving, so yeah, just had to say that. Huh? My sister tired, yeah. But I hope that y'all really enjoy this video and y'all could get some uh, pointers from it. What? I ain't gonna try to be greedy, y'all. Right? <laughs> there it is. Like I said, moisture. texture of that. <sighs> Y'all could throw this tray across the room and taste so good. Peace out in Jesus name be blessed cause ain't no more to say after that. It just ain't no more to say. It's done. It's done. Be blessed, love bugs.